What's happening, friends? Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick, and on this channel, I talk about cryptocurrency, decentralized finance, and economics. Today's video is all about the Secret Network. Secret is a privacy-preserving Layer 1 smart contract chain that's part of the Cosmos ecosystem. So similar to other Layer 1s, it allows you to build all sorts of DeFi applications and NFTs. However, it also preserves your privacy, like Monero. And basically what that means is that other people could not see what's in your wallet unless you gave them permission to. And they also could not see your transaction history. And this is very important because there's certain use cases that you need privacy for. So today I'll go over a bit about what those use cases are. I'll take a look at Secrets Ecosystem Fund because it's quite substantial. We'll talk about how to get their SCRT token because it's not on many exchanges. We'll look at ways to earn yield on Secret since we love DeFi and yield on this channel. And finally, I'll talk about some of the risks of Secret because there are definitely some risks when you're investing or using a privacy chain. Cool. So first, let's look at the use cases because this is the most exciting part, I think, and there are many of them. So the first one and the one you probably hear about most often is freedom from censorship. So imagine that you had contributed to some sort of cause that your government didn't agree with via your crypto wallet. They might tell exchanges to freeze your freeze your funds when you try to withdraw them. With a privacy chain, you could donate uh, anonymously and there would be no way for anyone to see it, or you could move funds anonymously to a different wallet. And so that is one of the use cases. However, there are some uh, downsides to that that we'll talk about later. Additionally, you know, you may just want some privacy. So, so uh, imagine if everyone in your life could see all of your fi financials. I mean, I think once crypto wallets become ubiquitous, uh, you know, knowing someone's crypto wallet will be extremely common because because you might be transacting various small tokens on a daily basis. And uh, would you want everyone you transacted with to be able to see your financial history, see your everything you were purchasing, um, you know, maybe all the loans you had taken out? Uh, there are some definitely some benefits to having privacy. And additionally, this can also protect you from bad actors. So for example, uh, criminals might uh, look at, you know, someone who was, imagine you were transacting with a local store. They might look at the history of everyone transacting with that store and see, you know, okay, you can see that there were some people with a large amounts of funds and then try to target them for robbery. So, so there are some benefits to having privacy in that, in that situation. Additionally, uh, it can also prevent front running. So, so if you can't see someone's transactions, you can't front run them. Uh, that's important. Uh, another important example actually is in gaming. And a lot of people don't know this, but but privacy is very important for certain gaming, uh, uh, on-chain gaming applications. For example, poker. Uh, without privacy, you would be able to look on the blockchain and see what cards everyone else had because it would be totally public if the game is actually taking place on-chain. With, uh, with privacy, you, of course, would not be able to do that. And there's many other situations you can probably imagine um, another example, and there actually are a lot of institutions looking at secret would be preventing industrial espionage. espionage. So, um, if a, uh, if a large company was making major transactions on chain, then, uh, th then anyone would be able to track them. And through looking at wallet histories might be able to figure out things that they were doing that were not public yet. Um, and, uh, and, and so privacy would be important in that situation. Another use case, like I said, there are a lot of use cases, is that you can actually make NFTs with private metadata. So for example, this could be hidden links. So, so imagine you had some sort of, you know, hidden content that only someone with the NFT could have the link to. You could have that hidden in the NFT or imagine that you had a, uh, some sort of game and, and the NFT had some sort of like secret ability or secret component to it uh, in the game uh, then that other people weren't supposed to be able to see until you revealed it, the NFT would allow you to do that. And then the final use case that, that I'll mention is private voting. So this would be both for DAOs and for on blockchain voting. You, of course, in most situations, want votes to be private. And I understand why DAOs, people might not like that, but but but, but as uh, as crypto becomes larger and and you know, rolls out to a larger variety of industries, then probably there's many cases where you'd want a private ballot and, and a secret network would allow you to do something like that. So that's just a few of the reasons why, why uh, secret has a lot of potential. And you know, a lot of other people agree because they announced a $400 million 
ecosystem fund one month ago. And this includes a $175 million accelerator pool and a $225 million ecosystem fund. And they have some major, major backers, Coin Fund, Alameda Research, and Defiance Capital. So, uh, so, and, and there's others, KuCoin, Terra. So, so, so some major names are looking at the potential in Secret Network. Uh, and by the way, another name that wasn't mentioned in there was Quentin Tarantino released some NFTs and he chose to release them on Secret Network. Pretty cool. Um, and so if that sounds interesting to you, then they do have their SCRT token. And it's actually somewhat difficult to get because a lot of a lot of uh, centralized exchanges don't like to have private tokens on there. So the easiest place for you to get it is actually on Osmosis. Osmosis is the main DEX on Cosmos, and they do have Secret. So you can either deposit Adam here, deposit Luna, or maybe if you watch this channel a lot, you might already have funds on Osmosis. You can just convert that to Secret on there and then either keep it on there or withdraw it to the Secret Network. You can also use the Secret Bridge. So you can bridge from Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, or Monero. So if you use any of those, then uh, then you can connect to Secret. And by the way, Secret does use the Kepler wallet. So if you're in the Cosmos ecosystem, you already have a wallet for this because it uses Kepler, one of the best wallets in crypto, in my humble opinion. Cool. So uh, of course, on this channel, we are all about DeFi and yield, like I said a few minutes ago. So what are some ways that you can actually earn some yield on your secret tokens? Well, the most basic is that you could stake it. You can see here on Kepler, the rewards right now are about 24%. So that's going to be the simplest. You stake it, you stake it, and uh, and you earn that nice 24% yield, and you can basically just leave it there and, and see, it, uh, see it accumulate over time. Uh, another place you could go is actually to Osmosis. So Osmosis has pools with Secret Osmo and Secret Atom. Secret Osmo is about 83% and Secret Atom is 56%. So uh, these right here would be um, would be pretty good yields. And the yields are actually significantly higher than this because they are also incentivized by Secret Network with additional SCRT tokens. So, so I don't know the exact yield. It doesn't say it on here. But, but but it is significantly higher. So it's, it's probably over 100%, at least on this one. Um, and finally, the place you can go is actually to the secret network itself. They do have a nascent DeFi ecosystem. The, the largest DeFi application is Secret Swap. And uh, they have their native CeFi token. And uh, they have some pretty decent pools over here in the earn section. So we can see, for example, just staking CFI is 21%. They have actually a decent stablecoin pool, 11%. Um, but, but if we want to use the secret token, we can pair it with USDT and earn 33%. We can pair it with ETH and learn th earn 38%. I actually really like this one. We can pair it with BNB, in, or not BNB, BTC, excuse me, and we can earn 38%. Uh, so so I, I think that that's a... Um, I think that that's, that's a very nice pool. And if, if you wanted to bet more heavily on the secret ecosystem, you could pair it with CFI and earn about 40%. Page just refreshed, but that's all right because we were finishing up anyways. Um, another place that you could look at, and this isn't out yet, but it's coming out soon, is Shade Protocol. Shade Protocol is a very highly anticipated DeFi project that's launching on secret soon. It's a interconnected ecosystem of privacy preserving DeFi applications. And they also have their own algorithmic stablecoin, or rather they will have their own algorithmic stablecoin known as Silk. So this will be intended for private transactions. Since generally when you're transacting, you want some sort of stability. And, and you can imagine that, uh, it, or I can imagine that this might have some potential that other, other private, uh, private chains struggled with because it has smart contracts enabled. So you can do loans, you can do liquidity providing, other things like that with this private transactional stablecoin. So uh, pretty cool. And uh, and if you've been staking Luna, Atom, or Secret, you may have an airdrop. So you can go here, shadebrotocol.io, and you can check if you have an airdrop and the snapshots for that were taken in November and December. So if you were staking throughout that time, 
you would likely have some sort of airdrop coming to you soon. Cool. So, so that's just sort of the basic rundown of DeFi with Secret, expecting a lot more big things to come on this. Uh, but it definitely comes with some risks because, um, you know, privacy networks can sometimes uh, get you into trouble. And, and I don't think that's justified, but it is what it is. So um, the first is that sometimes FIAT off ramps have been known to question funds that come from either private networks or privacy based tools. I've heard of people putting things through Tornado Cash and then, you know, they try to withdraw it and the exchange says, hey, you know, hold on a sec, send us the send us the um, transaction history because because they're worried that someone's trying to cash out from a uh, from something illicit or or their, uh, you know, when you cash it out to a bank, the bank might want to know your transaction history, uh, particularly if they find out that it came from a privacy network and, you know, uh, perhaps you think that's unfair and, and it probably is but but that's the way of the world so that is a risk if you're putting moving a lot of funds through private network uh another risk is, is honestly I, I tried it out and it took takes some getting used to uh by default you actually can't see your own balances for a lot of tokens so you have to set it up so that you can see them so it's private for everyone including you um and i found that somewhat difficult to getting used to but it, it, at the end of the day, it's not a big deal. It's you know just part of part of using a private network. Um, and and I, I would say the biggest risk as far as sort of adoption is that despite all the many use cases I mentioned before, regulators tend to dislike privacy networks, which could to lead which could lead to people being wary of them. And of course, they dislike them because, in addition to a lot of great use cases, uh, they, they do have some some uh, sort of criminal use cases as well. Um, but as far as like, you know, transacting money without it being traced, um, but uh, so does cash, right? So, so uh, I, I don't see anything wrong with them. And, and, and I think that the, I'm excited for some of the use cases that they're going to enable. Um, and, and I think, I think those three things are sort of the, the uh, major risks, the fire off ramps, questioning your funds, getting some, getting, taking some time to get used to, which could sort of delay adoption. And then people being wary of using it for uh, because they were concerned about legal hassles. Um, let me know what you guys think about Secret down in the comments. Do you like it? Do you, do you are, are you excited for any of these DeFi projects? Will you be using them? Are there any other DeFi projects you're looking at on Secret? And if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter. And that's all I got for today. Till next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.